let's talk about strategies to help you empty your bladder. So let's say that for whatever reason it is, you are having so much trouble emptying your bladder. Maybe you're going to the restroom to pee and then five, 10 minutes later, you realize, oh my gosh, I could pee again. You sit back down on the toilet. Sure enough, more pee is coming out and you're realizing, I am not emptying my bladder fully. I'm having trouble emptying. So let's talk about different strategies that you can implement into your routine to help facilitate full emptying of your bladder when you go to the bathroom. Now, there are so many things that we could cover as far as bladder health, when it comes to different triggers and irritants and even down to scheduling and timing of, of when you're peeing, et cetera. But what we're gonna focus on in this video is the specific strategies you can do when you're sitting on the toilet to help facilitate full emptying or as much emptying of the bladder as possible. So first things first, recommendation is going to be to actually sit down on the toilet. I know this can be super tough if you are in a public restroom, if you are in a restroom that is not inside of your home um, or where you live, I get it, it can be not fun. But the recommendations are to use a toilet seat cover or just take a bunch of toilet paper and line the seat with toilet paper. Because here's the thing, is that your pelvic floor muscles will have a harder time fully relaxing and fully letting go if you are hovering and if you're holding yourself up in a semi-squatted position over the toilet. So if that is the case for you, you catch yourself hovering, the thing is that these muscles in the pelvic floor, all the red you can see here are all the muscles that make up the bottom or the, the hammock of the pelvis, of the pelvic floor I should say, they will be somewhat contracted to support your trunk and your body as you're in that semi-squatted position or squatted hovering position. But then they're also going to be trying to relax to let you let go of your pee and to urinate. So first things first, simple recommendation, just simply sit down on the toilet. Second recommendation is going to be take some gentle deep breaths in to facilitate pelvic floor relaxation. Simple way you can do this on the toilet, take one hand, rest it on top of your tummy, take the other hand, put it at your low tummy or your low pelvis here, take some deep breaths in. Think about that air traveling down, think about it traveling all the way around through your trunk. If it's easier for you and you get a better um, movement here or better relaxation, take your hands and rest them on your sides, the sides of your rib cages here and breathe in. You really wanna think about that air going all the way down to your pelvis and your pelvic floor. Everything's opening up and relaxing. This can really be great to help the bladder fully, fully empty. Next couple strategies, and these shouldn't take super long. Once you start to implement them in, you should definitely be noticing a positive improvement in your symptoms and should notice that it won't take you quite as long to go through everything. But for now, as you're learning, it might take a few extra seconds in the bathroom. Other things you can think about is what you're doing with your trunk and with your pelvis on the toilet. So let's say that you have finished peeing, so you're done. You can then rock a little bit of your pelvis forward. So you want to think of a tilt forward arching through your spine. And then you want to think of a tilt back to neutral and then a tilt underneath you. So think about your tailbone. So here is that little pointy bone right there in the middle. You wanna think about tucking it kind of underneath you and rounding out your spine like so. So you can kind of move between those two directions. You can then take your whole trunk, keeping your pelvis stationary, lean your trunk forward, lean it backwards. You can do circles. This often helps to kind of shimmy things around as far as your organs go and it can help put a little bit of extra pressure down into the bladder to help empty the bladder as well. So you can go each direction, and then you can even think about your pelvis with a little bit of a hip hike. So you can kind of move through your spine and through your pelvis each way, so kind of lifting up like this, lifting up like that. Last but not least, another strategy you can do for incomplete emptying is let's say you've done all those things and you're like, okay, I'm just gonna do one to two more things here. You can stand up try a few you can you can do this a few ways you can either stand up simply breathe for a little bit sit back down see if anything else comes out or another strategy is you can stand up 
do a few gentle kegels or pelvic floor muscle contractions. Then sit down, take a few deep breaths in to relax pelvic floor and see if anything else comes out. So those are the main recommendations for incomplete emptying. Really, we want to focus on making sure there's good mobility, um, good range of motion of the tissues of your pelvic floor. There's not excessive tension throughout the pelvis or around the urethra, etc. But for the purpose of this video, we're gonna try these strategies out and see how they help you.